the second element of Parkinson's disease examination that I want to bring out and we'll keep tremors separately will be the rigidity and spasticity. Okay? So the way we evaluate rigidity and spasticity in movement disorders is that we, for the limb evaluation, let's say upper limb first, you have to examine it on two joints. So let's say elbow and wrist. So you stabilize the, from, the, uh, from the limb above that joint, the elbow joint that you're examining, and then you hold it below the second joint that you're examining. And then you move both of joint together to look for rigidity and spasticity. You move them at variable angles, because if you're just doing this, they may have a peritoneum and they start doing it for you and may look normal. So you move it at a different angle unpredictably. You also move it at different speed, okay? Because rigidity is present at all speeds the same, while spasticity is absent at slow speeds and only present at a high speed as a catch, okay? So in movement disorder, we only call spasticity if a catch is present. So you're moving it slowly and you're also looking for a catch. And you go in and randomly and suddenly you look for a catch. Okay, loose, just relax and let your hand go loose and you certainly look for catch and see if there's catch or not along. So if there's only rigidity, only spasticity, or both of them are present, okay? Mm -hmm. The third thing and part of Parkinson's examination is the examination of speed of movement and amplitude called bradykinesia. The way we test for bradykinesia is to ask them to do movements with their limb. Uh, but before we talk about that, let me also come back and talk about the rigidity, the rigidity and spasticity in the leg. Same rules follow. So for lower limb, the way I do it, I check it at the knee and hip joint. Stability is provided by the weight of the body itself. So I don't have to stabilize the body. And I hold the leg and I look for movement at both joints. And I also look for catch or spasticity by suddenly moving the leg and looking for any catch. Okay. So that's upper and lower limb rigidity and spasticity.